Magical Mansion, a virtual guest house for spiritual wayfarers, a place where the ordinary becomes magical, where wisdom is yours for the asking, and where your higher nature is just a wish away. Thanks for joining us here today at Meg's Magical Mansion. I'm Meg, and this is my trusty butler, Scallion. And here in my lab is my lovely assistant, Miss Alice Poopers. Very excited about today's episode, Scallion. How about you? It's, it, it's phenomenal. And do, do you want to tell everybody what we're talking about today? Actually, today we're talking about transserving reality. It's and part two. It's part two. Yes. And today's yes, chapter yes. is all about pendulums. Pendulums, Scallion, that want to suck the energy out of you. Pendulums that want to control people's lives with no thought. It's Two back people. and forth that are hooked up onto these pendulums. So we're going to find out all about how energy pendulums can be destructive, can throw you off your life path, what you can do to work with them to use the energy pen pendulums rather than having them just knock you hither and yon. So today's topic is... Destructive pendulum. Stick around and we might even have a giveaway. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, well, Alice Poopers, wasn't that exciting? And of course that means it's time again for Words of Wisdom. And today our Words of Wisdom come to us from Vadim Zeeland, the author of our book, Reality Transurfing. And we have a lovely quote from him to kind of give us a little idea of what today's topic of pendulums is going to be about. So sit back, relax, and let's enjoy the words of Vadim Zeeland. We have become so accustomed to stereotypes that we consider them representative of the valuable experience accumulated by humanity over the years. In reality, the pendulums generate stereotypes and people are obliged to conform to them. All society is based on pendulums that develop independently according to their own laws as informational energetic beings and then subjugate adherence to their will. Their influence on man is so great that the mind is literally becoming clouded, losing its capacity for independent conscious thought. Well, I hope you enjoyed those words from Bonnie New Zealand all about pendulums. Just a little taste of what we're about to get into because chapter two in our book study, Reality Transurfing, is all about the destructive pendulums that suck the life energy out of you, knock you off of your life path, and do all other manner of destructive things. So let's learn a little bit more about pendulums and how they relate to reality transurfing. Because when we're done, we want to become the black belt of transurfing through all these crazy pendulums. This week, we are talking about chapter two in the book, Reality Transurfing by Vadim Zeeland. And chapter two is all about pendulums. And he basically says to rent yourself out. So let's go over some of the key points to chapter two and try to figure out what these crazy pendulums are and what we need to do about them. So first of all, a pendulum is created by a group of people who are thinking in the same way. So the like-minded people join together and start to 
do similar things or work in similar ways. A pendulum is an energy-based information structure. So it's the structure that occurs when the like-minded people start doing things together. They start to grow structures and ways to do these things together to make it easier. The pendulum maintains the thought energy of the adherent at its own vibrational frequency. Okay, so in order to understand chapter 2, you need to understand what he means when he talks about adherents. Adherents are people who join the pendulum, who live by its rules and structures. So basically, a battle for adherence takes place often between pendulums, each trying to get new people to join or think the way they think or do what they're doing. So I want you to think of pendulums in ways of things like your job, if you work for a company, or I worked for many years for a school district. That was a big old pendulum swinging around. And pendulums become these big, giant energy structures, and they don't care about the individuals working and living under them or in them. The pendulum itself becomes more important than any one person. In show business, the show must go on. I don't care if you're dying, you gotta get out there and deliver, the crowd's expecting it. Guilt becomes a big part of this. A lot of organized religion, huge pendulums, using guilt, like-minded thinking, Pendulums are destructive, and a destructive pendulum forces goals onto the adherents that are not of their own making. And the pendulum plays on our human emotions, and it catches human beings up in that web, like I was saying, of guilt, of I do this because I'm supposed to do this, I have to get up and go do this every day. And even organizations that are working for a good cause oftentimes just do not care about the individuals working for that cause. The cause becomes more important than any one person working for it. So even though the goal of the organization may be positive, that's not necessarily how the people working towards that goal are being treated. Pendulums suck the energy out of you. That's really all they're interested in is getting your energy. And they really don't care if you give it to them in a positive or a negative way. So you can sit there and speak badly of the, the government. And that's a huge pendulum. And you can sit there and you can dislike things about the government and fight them. But frankly, the government will is a huge pendulum. And that pendulum feeds off of all of the energy, positive and negative. Which also means that if there is something that you really do not want it's gonna appear in your life if you're swinging on these pendulums. So, to free yourself from the pendulum means you actually give it no place in your life. You give it no attention, not negative or positive. To give something no place means you just ignore it. You don't try to avoid it, you just ignore it. And to bring a pendulum to rest, you have to change the established game script. Sometimes if you're dealing with a particular person and their pendulum is personal pendulum is troublesome for you, you can use positive visualization to gently bring that person around and bring that swinging of the pendulum between you to rest. So if you have someone at work or someone in your family that's just always annoying to you, Try doing some positive visualization about that person and sending them love in 5D in your imagination and see if that doesn't improve their behavior towards you in the 3D. Anyway, the best part about stilling a pendulum's energy is when you are able to do that, the energy of the stilled pendulum comes to you. But problems are not solved by defeating or stopping the pendulums that's created them. So if you have problems to solve, his solution in the book is to rent yourself out. So when you're working with organizations or you're working with these large pendulums swinging around, it's important to remember to yourself, what benefit am I getting from this? And 
deal with it in that way as long as you are receiving benefit that is appropriate to you for the amount of effort and energy they are taking from you then you can work with pendulums rent yourself out and some people just do find a place under the protection of pendulums in these large structures and really thrive in pendulums so even though they can be destructive and they in general are destructive to sort of our inner humanity our spirit our souls some people do thrive under the protection of pendulums some people become so afraid of pendulums once they realize what's going on that they don't want to deal with them at all and they try to hide from them but that doesn't really work you just get stuck in a suspended state so you have to find your own pendulums your personal pendulums and make those your priority it is essential to acquire the habit of remembering what you know in education we call that metacognition knowing what you know being aware of what you know about these pendulums when you are moving through life you can't avoid them you want to learn how to really become a ninja a master of dodging weaving using using the energy of the pendulum for your own swing to swing on to the next thing to swing up higher and not allowing yourself to get caught up by guilt or obligation or a sense of duty remember all the adherents all the people swinging on a particular pendulum are all vibrating at that pendulum's frequency so if you reach a point where you're ready to elevate up sometimes people need to leave a pendulum or get away from a pendulum in order to do that so get out there and work all the pendulums in your life like a pro be aware know what's going on remember what you know about dangerous swinging pendulums good luck so now you know a little bit more about pendulums and i hope we all take a moment and think about that that means like your job your church your circle of friends everything is a pendulum and you can't avoid pendulums they're everywhere and you have to learn how to play the game dodge them manipulate them when to get off of a swinging pendulum that doesn't serve you so i hope you had some food for thought today from chapter two of our book reality transurfing and it made you really take a look at some of the the ways you spend your time and who and how you give your time for and in exchange for what so just some food for thought of course next week we'll be diving into chapter three and of course we have a giveaway this week we are giving away a $30 Amazon gift card because the cost of this book on Amazon is $30 so you could use your gift card to buy the book if you want Please don't forget, I'm also linking that link to Amazon down below if you do want to buy the book. And I'm also going to link the audiobook version of Chapter 2 if you want to check that out. So down below in the description, you'll find both of those things. But if you want to enter my contest, down below, I want you to talk to me about a pendulum that maybe you are riding or have ridden before. What kind of a pendulum was it? A job, religion, family? Tell us below something you uh, you personally have experienced in your life with pendulums and you will be entered to win our $30 Amazon gift card. And make sure you get your entries in by this Sunday at noon because that's when we will be picking our lucky, lucky winner. And I'll make sure and put up a short so you can see who that lucky person is. Now, in the words of Buddha, don't forget, a thousand candles can be lit by a single candle and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. So thank you for sharing your time and attention with our little pendulum here today at Meg's Magical Mansion. Hey, if we did knock you off your life's path, great, why don't you give us a like? Or you could become a part of our pendulum and subscribe. Check us out on the Instagram, and we will see you back here next week for 
part three about catching the wave, baby. Till then.